My name is uh, Matt Benner. Um, this is my fleet, the ISD Tyrant, the Constrictor, and the Aggressor, sort of three Star Destroyer type ships. Um, the first one I built was the ISD Tyrant, and it's uh, about 35,000 parts. It has a three level interior, and I guess I'll try to take it apart for you. Okay, yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> so you can remove each module to reveal each level of the interior. On top, you have the uh, conference room, like a Sith chamber. Um, Now, since this one was the first one I built, it has a couple parts of it that aren't that user-friendly, so it takes a little while to take it apart. <laughs> you learn as you go along with these types of builds, are the best way to, to handle exactly. it. So the, the new one, the Aggressor, is much more user-friendly. It doesn't require this uh, hinges. Now I need an axle somewhere. you got to have the right tools for the job here. <laughs> There we go. I have to move around. Oh, the bridge does have, there's an interior to the bridge, of course. And you got like the, the war plan room there? Yeah, like a conference room, and these are officer quarters. And, uh, there we go. So this level doesn't make a whole lot of sense in retrospect, but it was originally designed so there could be lights going through these foundation walls here. So they actually don't come off the ship, they're on hinges, so you could have wires going down to batteries in the bottom of the ship. Um, as it is, I took the lights out because they weren't very good. I might add a minute back in at some point, but um, as a result, since it's not completely removed, this comes apart in like five modules. It's gonna take a little time. We got like an armory. Got like a metal, medical bay over there. That's like ship operations, like the CIC. Um, it's like an evil medical bay. But each one has to be removed individually, which takes yeah. takes a minute. <laughs> so you got to find place to put it all as you as you take it apart. Right. And I didn't get a lot of, a lot of table space because I always come in late. So. All the different modules out there. Yep, and the turrets actually move. So if you look at the turrets, you can just turn an engine, and they turn like that. There are gears inside. Um, so then these flip up here, and you can remove the rest of the uh, top panels. Expose some more of the bottom floors here. Yep, so we're getting down towards level one. So I noticed you slid some pieces over there, so how does that work exactly then when you're attaching those panels? Um, it's just like a locking me mechanism to sort of keep the panels aligned. Okay. And now the uh, front panels slide off on big rails. So those are kind of attached to the railings here and that's kind of how it guides those on? Uh, yeah. And um, it can carry two TIE fighters when they fold up. It has one landing craft. Um, on level one, you've got uh, barracks, um, a canteen, uh, there's a cargo bay area and a detention center over here. Um, in the center, you also have some engine rooms. Um, this is removable. There's like engineers down there. And um, the probe droids can actually be launched from the outside by pulling a greeble and it drops a probe droid out. <laughs> um, the landing craft, LEGO just came out with a landing craft set. Um, but this one has some unconventional wings to sort of enable it to 
fit inside the hangar. Uh, it snapped off. Well, yeah. There we go. There you go. Landing craft. <laughs> the way you were able to do the folding there to get it to, to fit in the small hangar bay. Yeah, I mean, it's a big hangar bay for a Lego ship, but it's still pretty small. So everything's got to fold up as much as possible. Um, try to find a place to put this. And that's pretty much it for the Tyrant. Um, it weighs a lot. It's hard to transport. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I'll have it at another show after this one, but we'll see. It looks like it'd be hard to transport. So when you started on this project, how did you figure out all the different rooms, the modules and everything? Was there kind of plans you sketched out at all? Or did, you, did you just start building? Um, I just started building. I got like two Star Destroyer sets, and I tried to take them apart and make a really big Star Destroyer. And it just sort of evolved from there. Okay. So. But uh, after that, I made the Constrictor, like a little escort ship. Um, and I actually sell instructions for this one. It's a little interdictor cruiser, which has been on Star Wars Rebels. Mine doesn't look exactly like the Rebels version, but it's pretty similar. And it also has an interior, which is much also a carry handle. Whoops. Hit the tyrant there. But it just folds open. So, like, much easier than the tyrant to get okay. into the interior. Yeah, so you can get to the details a lot easier, but it's still packed with all the different panels and minifigs. Yep, I like interiors, so all my builds feature interiors. Um, it's a big part of it. And that's a nice carry handle, so moving that one is very easy. You just pick it up. Yeah. And you said you sell instructions for this. Where can people find those if they're interested in getting those? Um, if they went to my YouTube channel, uh, Doom Handle, they would see links to Rebrickable. Also, if you search on Rebrickable for um, either the aggressor or the constrictor, they're pretty easy to find. Okay, we'll make sure to put a link in the description of the video then, so if anybody wants to check those out, you can definitely find those. And the third gray triangle ship is the aggressor. So this one I designed after the Tyrant. A lot of people ask for instructions for the Tyrant. It's just way too big. <laughs> I mean, it, people wouldn't even be able to move it if they built it. Like, I'd have to really explain like how to do everything. It'd be, it's just not it's feasible. It's not a practical design for instructions. Right, so the Aggressor was built originally in a regular Star Destroyer configuration. Um, so I could sell instructions for the regular Star Destroyer configuration. I've since modified it to a Victory class just to be a little bit different. It's also smaller than the Tyrant. Um, but it has a lot of improvements in terms of how it comes apart. Like instead of the axles and stuff, the bridge just slides off on a rail. Still, it's uh, three levels. They're just more cramped. Still, has a conf conference room up there. And uh, the main bridge has some interior space in it, but it wasn't big enough for a typical Imperial bridge, so I put that on level two, which is also removable. And there's like engine stuff under there. It also has movable turrets, like the uh, Tyrant. Um, but I might have broken them because I switched it to a three turret configuration. The regular, the instructions version has four turrets. Okay. And they used to work pretty reliably, but we'll see. I did something wrong. <laughs> and the uh, top panels, the improved system, they just have like little Technic hooks. You can just drop them into place. It only takes a couple seconds to remove them. You can definitely tell how you've improved and your technique has gotten better as you've done these. Yeah, way easier to remove them. And with the, uh, the instructions version of the ship, the regular ISD configuration, you can actually remove the front panels without removing the back part of the ship. So you can just take off the front panels, and like if you want to reload the TIE fighters or the probe droids, you can do that without even removing the bridge if you want to. So it still has a canteen. I try to include my favorite rooms, which were the canteen and the barracks. Um, there's a couple control stations on the ground floor as well. Um, the TIE fighters are redesigned. They're, uh, the cockpit's a lot sturdier than the Tyrant's TIE fighters. And they also have folding wings. So they're just regular TIE fighters, but again, they had to fold up. Yeah. And uh, I had to put these rails here to make use of this space. Um, I couldn't just have a big hangar bay or there won't be any interior space left. And you can deploy them 
from the hangar bay if you want to. The rail actually retracts and you can control the rail using this control here. You got all that playability in there. Yeah, I like play features too. So I'm one of the, the few people that likes interiors and play features <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Um, the probe droid launcher, they're not in there, but they would go right there and you push a button, launch or something like that. And uh, that's about it for the aggressor. <laughs> These are some of the modifications. The regular version doesn't have these missile turrets. That's to make it a victory class. And the ringlets are the typical victory class features. Um, so that was a recent modification. This is, a, this is an incredible fleet you've got here. Do you have plans to expand on this at all and add, add more spaceships? Um, not at the moment. I mean, I'm always looking for stuff to do. Uh, I'm working on a Mon Calamari cruiser, but I haven't made a whole lot of progress at this point. Okay. Do you feel like when you add all this, this detailed interior, do you have to sacrifice kind of structure and the, the outside of the ship at all, or can you find a good balance there still? Um, I tend not to sacrifice structure. I like a very robust structure, okay. um, probably too much. Like That's why the parts, part count, even for the small one, is 15,000, because I use a lot of pieces, a lot of small pieces. You've got Technic. Since there's no support going down the center of either the tyrant or the aggressor, you have to support through the walls of the ship. So there are like truss type structures along the sides to keep it uh, supported. Um, just a lot of Technic support. So I mean, this one's very strong. It's pretty inflexible. You can, how it's configured right now, you can move it like this just by picking up the stance. Okay. You could move it when it's all together, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Something bad could happen. Yep. Yeah. Well, these are amazing. Thanks so much for taking the time to, to show us through all the interiors and everything. I think it's, it's amazing builds you brought here, so I really appreciate it.